thank you for the introduction. Sorry for the uh, couple of technical uh, difficulties there. But I appreciate the opportunity today to talk to you about our concept for uh, Smart Grid. And it's one of those integral pieces that you would uh, help build a smart city. So, how do we advance here? Okay, um, so what is a smart grid? Some, um, some people interchange um, smart grid with smart meters. They'll also look at um, things like uh, automatic meter reading. But those two elements are just a small part of what an overall smart grid. Um, we can, uh, if we break down what smart is, in context, smart means that some, there's some form of processing and analysis that happens to the data that's collected in real time and that can result in some type of action. The system is smart and intelligent by making specific decisions on, on data based on, uh, sorry, on dynamic data coming into the system. The grid is simply a network of everything connected. The intelligence doesn't just happen at a central server, it's distributed over the entire network all the way out to the endpoints. All these cooperating, interdependent, intelligent nodes in the network collectively, collectively make a smart grid. So it's obviously much more than just automatic meter reading or smart meters. So the three main components of any smart grid system starts off with data collection. This can be in the form of smart meters and other data acquisition devices. Resources feeds that, uh, resource feeds from other non-core data sources such as weather, lightning strikes, any other dissimilar data that you might need. Um, this, you're trying to pull together a lot of dissimilar um, data sets so you can use to correlate them for looking for very specific events. This data can be collected in real time or from historical archives. Data is not only connect, uh, collected at the consumption points, but entire, along the entire distribution network. Hello. The next component is the actual grid itself. This is the communication infrastructure that connects all the intelligent nodes together and uh, connects it back to the central server point. And lastly, we get to the applications. Here's where the data is used and the data um, is dynamically uh, processed in real time. And this is what really makes that smart grid smart. These three elements um, are the fundamental building blocks for any smart grid for any type of utility. At the data collection point, uh, it starts with smart meters at the point of consumption or in line the on, on the distribution network. We can also get data feeds from substation control systems and resource generation points. These, these areas are typically already instrumented and ready to provide data, uh, be it water, electricity, or gas. Um, all those facilities will already exist. Smart meters themselves can capture more than just total usage data, but usage based on time as well as other parameters. And in power, there could be a multitude of uh, things that you're measuring, not just, uh, not just usage, but things like power, uh, like voltage, power consumption, power factor, frequency. In water, you can also measure things like flow information, pressure, and the same holds true for gas. Meters must be secure and have an anti have anti tampering built into it. Meters will be able to send alerts upstream in the event that some thresholds actually met. Uh, such as leak detection, a pipe bursting, overpressure, power loss, or tampering. If so desired, any of these endpoints can be GPS enabled, so uh, you'd be able to track them for mobile type of applications. In every jurisdiction, meters are already existing. Uh, some will already be smart. Many will have uh, some digital capability and just need to be wired to be connected to the network. 
and some can actually be retrofitted to add the smart technology to it to, make, uh, to allow to uh, reuse that um, existing asset. So I'm just trying to do this really quickly for you. The grid itself um, is typically starts off at the endpoints with low cost RF technology uh, such as uh, Zigbee. This reduces the power requirements in the end devices. We then move up to concentrator modules, which is this little uh, gateway you see in the corner there. Um, these concentrator modules are strategically placed uh, and they're set up in a redundant fashion, making sure that there's a minimum of two separate paths to the server. This mesh network topology provides redundancy and resiliency, giving you the, right, uh, the result of high availability. The server will always sense any non-responsive module and can automatically request a service call when it, it detects one. Special versions of the concentrator modules will have uplink capability by either GSM, uh, Wi-Fi if it's a municipal Wi-Fi network or a private Wi-Fi network, or Ethernet for landline uh, applications. Limiting the number of these uplink nodes reduces the load on various carrier networks and overall communication costs. It is this communication network that can be shared across multiple utilities. Adding devices to the grid will be um, a self-provisioning uh, um, manner. Um, the installer will not have to have any knowledge of how the network works. It's really just plug and run. Using a tablet, um, the installer will associate the device with the GPS location and customer and register it in the system. With a wider variety of uh, different applications that can run on this data set that you're collecting, you really now have a comprehensive management tool. Continuous real-time analysis takes place looking for event anomalies. Since the meters can also be geotagged, this data can be mapped for a vast uh, array of different visuals. You would be able to map system health, load distribution, visually see critical uh, notifications, and even historical trend data. High-speed replay of any of this historical data could lead to some very interesting results. Advanced analytics will give new insights into trends and usages correlations to ex specific events based on conditions and so forth. This includes identifications of losses within the system by comparing nodes throughout the network hierarchy. And with this, whether this is through um, performance loss of the, of the distribution network or theft or catastrophic failure, you'll be able to isolate the points where this is happening. Of course, this, uh, with this network, we have automatic meter reading. Reducing the cost of collecting this data, which is always, uh, which allows managing of the customer totally electronically through smartphone apps or web-based interfaces. Billing can all be done electronically, reducing processing costs and human error. Multiple utilities can be consolidated onto a single bill, again, making it more convenient for the customer and a reduced cost of processing payments. There are other applications from uh, the customer's standpoint. They can see in real time their current usage, receive alerts for conditions such as potentially broken pipes, leakages, or some high powered device left on, or even when they hit a consumption limit. There's really no end to the number of different services or, or things that you can offer. Um, really, it's, it's your chance to be innovative in, in the types of uh, applications you want to bring to bear. This trend data can and should be used to influence uh, conservation programs, pricing policies, and even establishing variable rate billing. This should result in more effective conservation campaigns, reducing overall system load while maximizing the exi existing asset base, and potentially deferring expensive capital programs to increase um, capacity. So in, sum in summary, um, a smart grid really does give you a system-wide management tool it helps you reduce your operating cost while at the same time increasing efficiency, giving you better utilization of your assets, increased customer service, so it's really a win-win for everybody, and uh, while also driving uh, increased revenues, and really that should be profitability. So again, I'd like to thank you very much for a very quick uh, opportunity to uh, give you an idea of what uh, our concept is for smart grid technology. If anybody has any questions, you can get me offline and I'm happy to answer them. Thank you.